Here's some business advice that's blindingly obvious once you know it. In a recent video, I told the story about how I went shopping for hiking boots with a billionaire and uh, how the billionaire asked for a discount and how the clerk responded, which was really cool. Check out that video. But I didn't tell the full story because after my billionaire friend had bought his hiking boots, I needed myself to buy some socks. We we're on our way to Antarctica. We we're on the southern tip of Chile in a little town called Punta Arenas. And we were going to go down into Antarctica, catch a plane, then catch a, a little boat, then get on a bigger boat. And we we're even going to do a little bit of camping, which is wild. We we're very lucky. So I was given this list of things that I needed to buy, and on this list were some socks. So I said to the guy in the shop, the clerk, in the shop, in the, this little town in the southern tip of Chile, where my billionaire friend was buying a pair of hiking boots, I grabbed the two pairs of socks and I took them to the counter. I said, I'll have these socks, please. And he said, $300. And I went, what? It's two pairs of socks, $300. I said, that's the price of the socks. And I go, well, well, that seems really expensive to me. Why, why should I pay $300 for a pair of socks? Now, the amateur seller would start to talk about the benefits, the features, the fabric, the fiber, why these socks were super special. In your world, that's the return on investment. People talk about, you start to sell the aspirations and the desires and all the ben benefits and how you're going to transform the lives of your customers and clients. That's what most people do. But he didn't do that. No, he said, I said, they're $300. Why is that? He said, well, where will you be using them? I said, Antarctica. And he said, Antarctica is very cold. And I said, no. And he said, will you be camping? And I said, yes. And he said, well, if that's the case, how much do you value your toes? <laughs> how much do you value your toes? Implying, are my toes worth more than $300? Could I get frostbite? Would I lose my toes? And of course, I value my toes more than $300. So I bought the flame and socks. I did, two pairs of socks, $300. What he did is he didn't sell me on the benefits, the features, the return on investment. He sold me on the cost of inaction, not the ROI, the COI, the cost of inaction. Because the cost of inaction, if I decided not to buy those socks, could be that I'd lose my toes. And the cost of inaction in that instance was very, very high, so I paid a ridiculous amount of money for a pair of socks. Here's the moral of the story when it comes to selling whatever it is that you do. In which situation are you more likely to run faster? Towards a cuddly teddy bear or away from a starving grizzly bear? Yeah, that's right. Humans are four times more likely to take action to avoid some sort of pain than to acquire some sort of gain.